In this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the spindle on the South Bend Model 9. Uh, shouldn't differ too much between the Model A and the Model C. Uh, this, this lathe is an A, it's got the gearbox. <clears throat> so to do this, you're going to need uh, just a couple simple tools. You need your slot screwdriver. You might need a hammer, depending on how things are going. Light mallet. Rubber would be better. I don't have one, so I do have a wood block to tap against if I need to do anything to, so I don't damage uh, the spindle. Hopefully it doesn't get to that. And you'll need an Allen key or whatever type of uh, fastener you have at the top of your spindle. Or the headstock there for the spindle. And last, you'll need uh, two small pieces of wire of some sort, probably uh, MIG wire would work good. This is rebar tie wire. Uh, sewing needle would be good too. All I did, rebar tie wire, cut that on the point right there with, the, uh, with your linesman pliers. And that's it. This spindle here on this lathe has uh, the thrust bearing mod right here. This bearing will go on the back side of the spindle I'll show you later on. Other than that, it's gonna be the same. Um, if, if you don't have this thrust bearing, super cheap, you should buy one anyways. They're, I think it costs maybe four or five dollars, super easy. If you don't have it, then uh, this collar here just goes on. Just pretend, just don't put that in. It's that easy, all the parts are the same. So to start, we'll just take this apart. All the parts on here are in the order they're gonna get reinstalled. got our collar there. There's that thrust bearing with the small shims. This is the thrust bearing that comes with the lathe from the factory, the South Bend original one. You got your pulley right here. Not too crazy. To get this gear off here, you can uh, use a hammer or, you know, a piece of plywood, do it on a workbench. I don't feel like setting the camera up separately. I've got a piece of plywood to protect the ways in the back of the spindle. You're not gonna hurt anything with a piece of plywood sucking up all the energy. Couple light taps. There we go. Slides right down. Don't lose the key. It's uh, that's it right there. All right, set that off to the side. All right, so here we're at our headstock. We want to install the spindle. First thing you're going to do, you're going to take your two pins, they're about, uh, I don't know, inch and a half or so, long enough, that we set up against the edge of the headstock here, the center part is going to end up in the center part of the spindle, let's focus on that right there, see that there? So what you do, you're going to take this, put it in this hole right here, the drain hole, right above the oiler, you're going to push the felt pad inside the bearing journal down. There it is right there. What we're trying to do, we're going to push this down, focus, push this down below the journal and either get this, fuck, get this above or get it jammed into the felt so it holds it down. If you don't, don't do this, the spindle is going to catch as you feed the spindle through. It's going to catch, it's going to tear, it's going to get stuck, it's going to fuck everything up. So put the felt in, push as absolutely far down as you can. Take your pointed wire, needle, whatever you have, just gently jam it in there. Just keep trying until you get that felt below. There we 
we go. That's one. This back one's a little easier because the journal is a smaller diameter, but because they're on the same uh, axis, it's uh, got a little more room there. just popping up above the journal so we're just going to bend this down ever so slightly try it again real quick nope Okay, that's giving us a bit of trouble. I'll just take my screwdriver, bend that down. There we go, we're below flush there. Just to show you what I've done, that's the close up on the felt pad with the wire in place there. You see that wire? Come on. See that wire holding it down? That's on the, uh, the front one. Right back here around the rear. like that. Now we're going to start to install the spindle into the headstock. Before we do that, we're just going to wipe off in the journals here, make sure there's no grit, chips, anything like that. And just give them a good visual inspection. You don't want anything caught in there. It's going to, it'll destroy the journals or your spindle. And on your spindle, do the same thing. Just wipe off all the surfaces, make sure there's no no grit, no, no dirt, chips, anything, anything you wouldn't want in there. So now the next step, grab your bull gear, the woodruff key for it. and your cone pulley. And we're gonna start to assemble it. Make sure your Allen screws here. It'll adjust the tension on the on the, the uh, bearings there are nice and loose. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure your belt is in place because you're gonna feed the spindle through your belt while you're doing all of this. So first step, Spindle goes in. Slide our bull gear on. This face is going to go point towards the tailstocks like that. And there's that button that you actuate if you're going to use your back gear right here. For our purposes, we're going to push it all the way out. Then we don't have to deal with lining that up at the same time. Gear goes on. Nice little cone pulley. Now I'm gonna put the spindle through. Just enough that I can get my uh, thrust bearing. That's this one right here. Make sure it's clean as well before you put it on. that just keep getting your gently work your spindle in being careful not to uh, score or mess up your bearing journals on the headstock with the uh, serrated parts of the, the spindle and I forgot the key Woodruff keys right there. And you're just going to rotate that spindle while applying pressure that way. 
until you feel that key go into the bull gear. Then once you're there, a little bit of pressure. At this point, you have a couple options. You can use a threaded rod through the bore. You basically put a something soft on here, like a piece of wood and a washer and everything. Tighten this nut up again. Tighten a nut over here that applies pressure against this, and it will suck that in basically like a, like a gear puller, essentially. I don't have any threaded rung long enough, so I'm just gonna push it on with my hands. If I need to, I can use a little bit of wood up against this place here. If you have anything you put on that to protect the threads, that's good, but this is the world's cheapest pine, so I'm sure that won't be an issue. And just some light taps. There we go. Give that a quick little test spin. That's nice. No issues. Have your belt on. All your gears are in place. Or sorry, you have your bull gear, cone, thrust bearing. We didn't forget anything, so that's always a good sign. Next step, we're gonna take the thrust bearing at the back, if you have one. It goes on, like so. And then our collar. Because I've modified it with the thrust bearing at the back here, and this collar isn't threaded completely. There we go. Oh. See the threads don't work through completely. I actually put it on backwards. So this sharp corner here that would typically be against the lathe is be facing out. The rounded one against the lathe, and that just ensures I have better thread engagement at the back of the spindle. It is on my list to make a uh, better locking collar, but I've not gotten to that yet. Depending on how much thread engagement you have, you can use, you might be able to use, I should say, this collar to suck the spindle in all the way. So for now, bring that hand tight and I'll just lock that in place. There you go. Just locking the bull gear to the comb pulley. Just give that a nice little spin. Make sure everything's moving there fairly freely. And you'll notice because I used the pins here to hold the felt on, I had no issue. No felts were getting caught at all as you pushed as I pushed the spindle in. When you're done, all you gotta do is pull these out. Your felts pop right up. That's it. Now the felts up against the spindle to keep it lubricated. And that's it, that's how you install the spindle onto the headstock of the South Bend Model 9A. Um, I'm gonna be making a separate video talking about how to adjust the actual uh, bearing tension on your spindle, there's a procedure for that. We can talk about that later and as well for getting a good tension on this locking collar at the back here.